In this video, I want to show three things on Looker. Uh, if you haven't already logged in, maybe you should log in. Uh, you should watch the other video how to get that and then start the uh, change it to development mode. Go to the develop uh, section. Once you are there, you can find there are like uh, uh, two projects Quick Labs e commerce and Quick Labs Frights. Just select the e commerce one when it loads. It's going to take just a few seconds so here by default what you see is uh, the models right so there is this thing called training e-commerce model and then uh, if you select and expand views you can see all the underlying uh, views that's been converted by looker like it, it takes it uh, takes the tables and converts them into the views Right, let's select the session facts view. You can see this there are like a derived table and then uh, you can see all of these um, various like dimensions and measures. So here what it, you, you can see here is like this one, this particular table is missing a primary key. Uh, so mainly a primary key if you can set it up it actually helps up uh, when you're running the query uh, it speeds up the query execution time and also it is a better practice to have primary keys by default uh, looker doesn't add them so you can just select yes or no but then we'll select yes here and then we click on the save changes so there you go you clicked on the save changes now uh, on the right side you can see there is a valid look ml but uh, if you are connected uh, to git you can validate it and then i'm going to do is um, uh, hiding this variable like this dimension like select hidden equal to like colon yes okay so what it does is uh, when you go you don't have to expose all of the unwanted fields to the business users now uh, let's see okay, if there are any other tables that we want to uh, touch or otherwise uh, <coughs> what we can do is um, check one or two more tables here in this one uh, let's now go and see on the explore okay so in the explore explore is a section where you create uh, all the reports dashboards reviews and uh, looks okay so that's where we will be doing and uh, let's do one more here let's add uh, hidden as yes and we will go back to the looker explore so let's do a measure now okay so what i'm trying to do here is uh, let's see the total revenue uh, per orders okay so let's create that measure for that what you need to do is like type measure and then uh, select some kind of a name for the measure here let's enter a uh, total revenue per orders count in this in this measure what we will do is um, type sql and then all the syntax that's going to be there which will be like total revenue and then divided by the order i'm doing a null if here uh, because uh, in the denominator let's say it is a null value okay or something then uh, we will get an unexpected value like unwanted results right so i'm gonna do is uh, null if check and uh, if there is a null value then just put zero instead of it okay 
and uh, for this just change the value format if you want to change the value format just uh, put like 0, .00, uh, 0, 0 just like that okay now uh, let's save this and then now let us go to the explore here i'm going to refresh the screen and let's check if it added it okay there you go so the one we just added it is added right now now let's see if it is working and then select uh, status now you, you see it is not liking it it says there is some error let's see what is going on Let, we can go back to our lookml code that we just entered okay it looks like there is like one extra bracket like curly bracket so i'm gonna or missing right there so there is a dollar sign that is missing so i'm gonna enter that and save changes okay now let us refresh the screen browser and see if it is going to work okay now it looks like it is working okay and you can see different visualizations by selecting which type of graph you want to show and whatnot okay it's pretty cool 